Have you ever pondered why we buy the things we buy? Is it necessity, desire, or just a habit? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? Our lives are often defined by the things we acquire, the material possessions we surround ourselves with. But have you ever stopped to consider why? What societal pressures and influences drive us to this constant need for more? We live in a world that thrives on consumption, on the idea that having more is somehow synonymous with being more. It's a world where the line between want and need is often blurred, where the allure of the new and shiny can be hard to resist. But what if we could strip away all that noise? What if we could break free from the cycle of constant consumption and find contentment in simplicity? These are the questions we will explore. Today, we're going to take a hard look at the idea of less is more. Embracing minimalism wasn't an overnight decision for me. It was a journey that started with a single step. I remember vividly the day I looked around my cluttered home, feeling overwhelmed and stifled. I was drowning in a sea of possessions, many of which I didn't even need or use. That's when it hit me. I was living a life of excess, driven by consumerism. I realized I was spending money, time and energy on accumulating things that didn't enrich my life or bring me joy. The transition wasn't easy. The initial struggle was learning to let go. It was difficult parting with items that I had grown attached to, even though they served no real purpose. It was a process filled with self-doubt and apprehension. But I took it one day at a time, one item at a time. Over time, I started to see changes. My living space became less cluttered, providing me with a sense of calm and tranquility. I was spending less on things I didn't need, which meant more money for experiences and things that truly mattered. The time I would have spent cleaning, organizing and maintaining things was now spent on hobbies, relationships and self-care. As I embraced minimalism, I found my perspective on life transformed. I was no longer defining myself or my success by the things I owned. Instead, I was focusing on personal growth, relationships and experiences. This shift in mindset didn't just declutter my physical space, it decluttered my mind. The journey to minimalism shifted my entire lifestyle and outlook on life. It made me realize how much value we place on things that are, in the grand scheme of things, insignificant. It taught me to focus on what truly matters, the people in my life, my passions, my health and my happiness. Minimalism isn't just about owning fewer things, it's about making room for what truly matters. Minimalism isn't a stringent rulebook. It's a flexible philosophy that can adapt to individual needs and circumstances. So, what are the core principles that guide this philosophy? Let's delve deeper. Firstly, we have intentionality. This principle is all about making deliberate decisions. Rather than mindlessly accumulating things, minimalism encourages us to ask, does this item or activity add value to my life? If the answer is no, then it's probably not worth our time or money. Intentionality prompts us to be more discerning consumers, cutting down on wasteful expenditure and clutter. Next, we come to simplicity. At its heart, minimalism is about stripping away the unnecessary to focus on what's truly important. This doesn't mean living in a bare room with a single chair. It means reducing distractions and noise, creating space for what truly matters. Simplicity is about embracing a less is more mindset, which can be a powerful tool in leading a more focused life. Lastly, but certainly not least, is mindfulness. This principle encourages us to be present and engaged in our lives. It's about recognizing that every choice we make has an impact, from what we buy to how we spend our time. Mindfulness in minimalism helps us cultivate a deeper appreciation for the things we do have and a clear understanding of what we don't need. These principles, intentionality, simplicity and mindfulness aren't just theoretical concepts. They're practical tools that can help us reduce unnecessary consumption, declutter our lives and focus on what's truly important. They remind us that we don't need to fill our lives with stuff to be happy or fulfilled. In fact, quite the opposite is often true. So, as we navigate our way through this journey of minimalism, let's keep these core principles in mind. They'll help guide our decisions, shape our attitudes, and ultimately create a life that's more meaningful and less cluttered. Remember, minimalism is about quality, not quantity. Less consumption doesn't just mean less clutter in your home, it can lead to profound changes in your life. Imagine, if you will, a life where you're not constantly concerned about the next big thing to buy. This is the financial freedom that less consumption can bring. According to a study by the University of Cambridge, 
people who focus less on material possessions are likely to have a healthier relationship with money. They save more, stress less, and enjoy a greater sense of financial well-being. Now let's talk about our planet. The environmental benefits of consuming less are immense. By choosing to buy fewer things, we reduce the demand for resources, which in turn decreases the pressure on our environment. A study by the Global Footprint Network showed that if we reduced our consumption by just 20%, we could save the equivalent of about one and a half Earth's worth of resources each year. That's a significant impact. But it's not just our wallets and our world that benefit. Consuming less can also lead to increased mental clarity. Ever felt overwhelmed by the sheer amount of stuff in your life? Well, you're not alone. Research from the Princeton University Neuroscience Institute found that clutter can actually interfere with your ability to focus and process information. By reducing the amount of things we own, we can create a more peaceful and focused environment for ourselves. So, let's recap. Less consumption leads to financial savings, reduced environmental impact, and increased mental clarity. These are not just benefits on a personal level, but they also have wider implications for our society and our planet. But remember, less consumption doesn't mean no consumption. It's about making conscious choices about what we truly need and value, rather than mindlessly acquiring more and more. When we consume less, we gain more, more time, more freedom and more peace of mind. So how can you start your journey towards minimalism and less consumption? Firstly, it's important to note that embracing minimalism doesn't mean you have to get rid of everything you own. It's about making conscious decisions about what you truly need and value. So let's dive into some practical tips and strategies to help you on your minimalist journey. Start with decluttering. This is perhaps the most tangible aspect of minimalism. Go through your belongings and ask yourself, does this item bring value to my life? If the answer is no, it might be time to let it go. But remember, decluttering isn't a one-time event. It's a continuous process of reassessment and letting go. Next, let's talk about mindful shopping. Before making a purchase, take a moment to ask yourself some questions. Do I really need this? Will this item bring value to my life? Is there something else I already own that serves the same purpose? These simple questions can help you avoid unnecessary purchases and keep your home clutter-free. Simplifying routines is another key aspect of minimalism. Consider all the tasks you do on a daily basis. Can any of them be simplified or even eliminated? Perhaps you spend too much time on social media, or you have a habit of overscheduling your days. By simplifying your routines, you can create more space and time for the things that truly matter. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, start small and gradually make changes. You don't have to overhaul your entire life overnight. Maybe you start by decluttering one drawer or by spending five fewer minutes on social media each day. Small changes can lead to big results over time. Remember the goal isn't perfection, but progress. Minimalism isn't about living with the bare minimum. It's about living with less in order to make room for more, more time, more peace and more joy. So, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can and watch as the benefits of minimalism begin to unfold in your life. At the end of the day, minimalism is a choice. It's a conscious decision to step away from the rampant consumerism that often defines our modern lives. It's a commitment to value quality over quantity, to appreciate the things we have rather than constantly craving the things we don't. This choice isn't always easy. It means bucking the trend, resisting the pull of flashy advertisements and the allure of the latest gadgets. But when we choose to consume less, we're not just saving money or reducing clutter. We're choosing a meaningful, fulfilling life. We're choosing to focus on relationships, experiences and personal growth rather than material possessions. So let's reflect on our consumption habits. Let's consider whether we're buying things because we truly need them or because we're trying to fill a void. Let's consider the power of our choices. In choosing less, we open ourselves up to the possibility of more. More happiness, more freedom and more life.